continually driving this. You can see a 3D camera image being tracked on screen there. The yellow parts of my body, as I walk closer to the screen, you can see that I'm actually getting the depth for every pixel of motion here. As I raise my hand, we're able to track that hand in free space. We can do it with two hands. You could actually put 10 hands in there and track those. So but what, what do we do with that? So one of the things we can do is actually guide the mouse. And you could imagine controlling a TV from the couch or any kind of control app. I'm going to launch a little application here by going over top of it. Now you see that it's kind of getting my body image out of the background. And you're wondering, well, why doesn't it respond to all gestures? Everybody wonders, how can you tell an intentional gesture? So what we suggest is the idea of an engagement gesture. So when I put my hand up in front of here, it'll detect the five fingers. And now I can be led into the center. And we have a little gesture wheel here that lets you launch applications. Now, in a living room environment, this could be your six favorite TV shows. It could be YouTube, Gmail, whatever you like. In this case, we're just going to launch one with a single swipe. And we've got a little avatar control here. So a little cute guy that I can do my leaning around. So I've got head tracking, the center torso, as well as the two hands being tracked. Okay. So what I'll do though now is show you where we really want to go with this. It being, uh, and we'll go back to the desktop with the thumbs down gesture. Okay. So, where this can go in the future, full avatar tracking. So here we have a full skeleton model being tracked in real time with a uh, floating point, but this is on a very media machine. What we're really excited about is with AVX being able to do this kind of thing, motion capture, in the home. 